see the community gathered in James Chapel as we slowly emerge from our isolation into shared spaces. Um, and I want to remind everyone in the chapel, we continue to have a masking policy. Unless you're up here speaking, then you can have enough distance to take it off. Um, and I also want to say hello to the over 100 people who have already joined us online. And we're happy to have you with us in this James Chapel space as well. So we are now a hybrid community uh, for this evening's event. Um, I want to welcome you officially as the president of Union Theological Seminary to our second, this is only our second annual James H. Cone Lecture Series. We started this series in honor of the Reverend Dr. James Cone, who was a beloved professor and teacher mentor here at Union for almost 50 years. I always have to pause when I say that, 50 years. There's so much about the Reverend Dr. James Cone to say. He was a teacher, a mentor, a colleague to so many on the faculty, a friend to so many in this community, a mentor to literally generations and generations of students. He was a brilliant theologian. And most importantly of all, he is the beloved and admired and revered father of black liberation theology. This annual lecture continues his legacy of prophetic black theological and religious thought, thought that pushes and pricks and pushes again, as he would put it, at the conscience of America with depth and with seriousness of purpose. This evening, we have a table set up back here in the back of the room where you can have a glimpse of some of the amazing materials that are in Dr. Cohn's archive, which is housed here at Union. We are presently collecting, organizing, and working to make public um, for use that very extensive library. Um, COVID put us behind in our processes. Uh, because of library closures, but we are working very hard towards that. And this gives you a glimpse, not only of James Cohn, um, the young man um, and the person who was awarded by Bill Clinton, the um, Arkansas Traveler Award, um, but also the theologian whose detailed, detailed research and writing brought us the many books that we know. Tonight's honored guest is Dr. Cheryl Townsend Jilks. She is the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Professor of African American Studies and Sociology and the Director of the African American Studies Program at Colby College. And she will deliver a lecture titled The Trouble in Mind, The Trouble in Mind Nobody Knows. What a great title. James Cone's Enduring Witness and the Spirituals sacred and secular. There's a lot more to this introduction that I am going to turn over to my colleague, the Reverend Dr. Dean Kelly Brown Douglas in just a minute. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to let you know that we will have a question and answer period at the end of the lecture. Um, for our online viewers, you can start by posting your questions in the chat. We'll be monitoring those. And for those of you joining us in the room, you can text your questions to, and I'll say this twice, 646-397-6144. 646-397-6144. I feel like an advertisement uh, for insurance or something. Um, so, and if you have any questions about that telephone number, um, we will also take them in writing if you, if you hand them to us. Um, after uh, the lecture, when we begin the question and answer period, um, we will be moderated um, by assistant professor of homiletics, the Reverend Dr. 
Timothy Atkins Jones, uh, who is a member of the faculty here. Um, I will say more about him when uh, the question and answer period begins. But for now, let me turn my attention to Dean Kelly Brown Douglas. The very Reverend Dr. Dean Kelly Brown Douglas was named Dean of the Episcopal Divinity School at Union Theological Seminary and Professor of Theology at Union in September of 2017. She was then named the Bill and Judith Moyers Chair in Theology in November of 2019. She serves as Canon Theologian in the Washington National Cathedral and Theologian in Residence at Trinity Church Wall Street. She is widely published in international and national journals and other publications. I point you towards her outstanding podcast, Just Conversations. There is so much to be said about Dean Douglas. Her groundbreaking work has included books such as Sexuality in the Black Church, A Womanist Perspective, Stand Your Ground, Black Bodies and the Justice of God, uh, The Black Christ, a book I began teaching in 1994, which is now in its 25th anniversary edition. What's faith got to do with it? Black bodies, Christian souls, black bodies and the black church, a blues slant. And most recently, her remarkable book, Resurrection Hope, A Future Where Black Lives Matter, just published this year. So please run to uh, the bookstore and buy this book. I'm already teaching it. It's outstanding. So she is many things here. She is an alum of this prestigious institution. She's also a former student of Dr. Cohn, but also a beloved colleague of his and a close friend. Um, so it is particularly poignant and important that she introduce uh, this evening's uh, distinguished lecturer and she uh, launches this evening's conversation. Dean Douglas. Thank you, Serene. I am always humbled by your introductions and uh, always uh, blessed by our partnership here and at uh, EDS at Union and at Union. So thank you. I am more than privileged to introduce my dear and cherished friend who make, <laughs> and she laughs. I don't know. Remember that time? No, don't, don't start memories. Is it Christian? <laughs> <laughs> right. Is it Christian? That's right. We go back a long way, so I need to shut her up now because it, it will uh, contest uh, Professor, uh, President Jones's introduction if she says any more. But it's a dear and cherished friend and an esteemed scholar and I must say, there is no one that I know that is more an expert and knowledge holder, if you will, of the Black church and all its richness and its complexity. She is one that I call and others call when we're doing our own research to ask a question, even down to, I don't know where this quote came from. And before you can get through the quote, Dr. Cheryl Townsend Jilks will tell you not only where it came from, but the page. <laughs> and that's no exaggeration. She is such an esteemed scholar of the black church and all of its richness and complexity because of her love and her passion for the black church. 
Dr. Cheryl Townsend Jilks is the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Professor of African American Studies and Sociology at Colby College. She is an ordained Baptist minister. Oh, well, she, I tried to move her over to the Episcopal Church. She is, though, an ordained Baptist minister and assistant pastor for special projects at the Union Baptist Church in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where she travels every weekend from Waterville, Maine to be with her congregation. She has served as visiting faculty at several seminaries and schools of divinity, most recently the Chicago Theological Seminary. As I said, her research, teaching, and writing have specifically focused on the role of African-American women in generating social change and on the diverse roles of Christian women in the 20th century. While she is currently at work on a book titled That Blessed Book, The Bible and the African-American Cultural Imagination, her most recent work also focuses on the sociology of W.E.B. Du Bois and on the impact of African Muslims on the formation of African-American Christianity during slavery. Her work is extensive and expansive and can be found in numerous journals, numerous anthologies, including uh, African-American religious thought, an anthology edited by Eddie Gloud and our own Cornell West. Beyond her research and publications until the pandemic. She was Dr. Cheryl on Colby College's radio station where she hosted a gospel music radio show, The Uncloudy Day. She did that for 19 years. She is also a regular contributor to relig the religion news service where she has authored a number of very powerful commentaries. And just last week, she authored a commentary on the ordeal, as she puts it, of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson's abusive confirmation hearings, which she admitted made her and wrote about this in the commentary, both pray and cuss. That Dr. Jilks, would deliver this second annual Cone Lecture is befitting, not only because of her deep knowledge and passion for the Black church, which Dr. Cone loved and out of which his theology flowed, but also because